Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. It's Mix from Mix Creation. Yet in another video. Remember, this is what you call the summer. It's a summer period. It's very hot. It's humid in some places. We have degrees go as far as 45 or sometimes even 49. We don't know what we expect in coming, but I have to let you know the summertime, it's always very hot and humid in some days. In today's video, we want to look at to answer. I want you to, uh, I want, uh, I want me to answer the question that was being also asked. It's about you coming to Qatar and where are you posted to work? The question was that, yes, I'm coming to Qatar, but can I choose my area of work or can I choose my job, job location or my duty location? Yes, it depends. The answer may be yes or no. In, in what we say, no. For example, what I have to let you know, for the newcomers who are coming to Qatar, if you are being recruited by that company, Yes, remember you're being recruited or you're being under the guidance from your country, under the guidance of an agent. You may not know where your sponsor lives or your sponsor lives or where you are going to be working. Yes, you may know I'm going to be working security, I may be working as a cleaner, I may be working as a chamber boy, I may be working, I'm, uh, I'm going to work as a, um, a driver, but you do not decide where the location where you are going to work. It will just depends on your company. It will depend on your employer and what kind of contracts they have with the clients. You may find your company has a contract with a client that is a client that is staying 30 kilometers away from the main town. So that means if your employer at that time, you are the kind of personnel, the kind of manpower he has to employ there, then definitely they will transfer you and go and stay there. Depending, some of us, we come from these countries or come from our countries with a lot of expectations. Having seen this on Google, having seen on the, this on TV, on social media, that I'm going to Qatar, I'll be working, or I'm going to Bahrain, or I'm going to UAE, or I'm going to Dubai, I'm, I'm going to Saudi Arabia, and I'm be, I'll be working in the middle of the town. I'll be working in Doha because they told me Doha is very nice. Or I'll be working in Doha because I see people posting, posting themselves on social media, or people even doing or moving Doha. I'll be working in Doha. That's where I want to work. Yes. Yes, that one you may have it in the bus special. You are, um, you're, 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 you're thinking at that time may be right at that time. But remember, you do not choose where you're going to work and you do not give your uh, employment to yourself. Someone else is under your control. So what will happen is that, what will happen at that time is that they can post you whatever they have to post you. You find that you come with a friend, but definitely this friend is working 30 meters, uh, 30 kilometers away from where you, you're living. So definitely, it will definitely depends on the kind of contracts that company has with, uh, with the clients and where you'll be posted in one way. And remember, in some situation, we find companies that with very many people, for example, we look at securities, we look at cleaning companies, you may find that these companies have very many projects across the country and they may ascertain you in a different area where there will be a villa and that's where you will stay with other colleagues that are going to work in that area. So meaning that sparing you for that time, you're not going to choose where you are going to work. For example, another example is that people who are going to work to farms, you find most of these Arab countries, most of these nationals or citizens of these countries have what you call the country homes. They may not only have homes that are in the city, but they may have what you call country homes. And you may go to those country homes that are 30 kilometers away from the main town. And these people are doing farming over that side. People are doing real. People are doing animal keeping. And if it is your work to be a shamba boy and you're being recruited from your country of origin, let's say from Uganda or Kenya or Bangladesh or Nepal or any country to come as work as a shamba boy or domestic worker, you may find that you are being posted to that area that is far away even the main town. You are there alone. You're not going to say no, because this person has already injected a visa in you and you're already in the country, and your, your role is to work, not to choose where you're going to work. So you may find that in that kind of situation, you're not going to choose where you are going to work, or where you're going to work from, or where you, you'll be stationed yourself, but other to accept what your employer or what your sponsor is going to tell you at that time. So you may find that you may even take a long period of time, or even years, or, or even months before, uh, without even seeing someone of your nationality in that area. So that one is not that is very important. The 
because all what brings us to this country is to, to, to work, to earn bread for our families at the end of it all. So that's what normally will happen, or that is what will happen. For example, you look at people who are coming to this uh, other sectors, let's say for example you're coming as a security guard, yes you're coming as a security guard, but you're not going to use that I'm going to be working in the mall, I'm going to be working in the market, I'll be working in the supermarket, I'll be working in the bank. No, you do not choose that for yourself, it's normally your employer that chooses that for yourself, he chooses it for you because he has, he has all rights over you at that time and he's going to deploy you wherever he thinks he has the need for the client needs or wherever he has got a contract from at the end of the time and sometimes it also depends Depends. You find that some duties, for example, people working cleaning duties, you find some duties, for example, security guards, you find some duties where you have to sit and some duties you have to stand. So definitely all those kind of challenges come in here and those things are always coming that Meaning that you 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 really assigning the contract and uh, 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 work for 12 hours, and work for 9 hours. You have to persevere and get through the perseverance to see that you can you can be able to live. Uh, to, to fulfill the contract and not to breach the contract in one way that. For example, you may come in as a cleaner, you may come in as a cleaner and you may be not be posted to cleaning offices, you may be posted to cleaning hotels, you may be posted to cleaning hospitals, you may be posted to cleaning supermarkets. So all those are different types, or all those are different examples that I'm giving you that you are not going to choose where you are going to work. You are not going to choose your duty location, but whether your employer or your supervisor or the person in charge of you is the one that is going to choose according to the need in that area or according to the need in the company or according to what contract they have with those kind of companies or with the clients. Thank you so much for coming back to and By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section. Let us try to share. Feel free, drop a comment, drop what you feel, what you like in the video, what you want us to talk about. Let us try to share, let us try to share together such that we can all improve ourselves in one way or the other. Thank you so much, it makes from the next creation. See you again in yet another video.